All right, so <clears throat> technically it is December 18th, 2013. It is about 41 minutes after midnight. So I guess it is a vlog for today, but I'll probably end up doing another one. Um, as you can see, I am in the same area as I was last night. Um, and I have gotten quite a bit more done. I've used up all of my insulation. And uh, you see, I've got the ceiling insulated over here um, in half of the area that the office will be. Um, and the other half, if you remember, I don't want to blind you with the lights here, but up here it's still, you know, still open. Still open all the way up there, so i got to figure out still exactly how I'm going to do that and then insulate that, as well as the rest of the ceiling throughout the building um, here. Um, but I have gotten the the walls insulated all the way down and then over their front doors or well, the only doors and then all the way over there up here I've gotten all of the exterior walls on this lower portion this lower level um, insulated uh, there are two small strips on either side of the doors that I need to get insulated but that's really nothing and then the doors themselves I'll insulate uh, the back side of those doors. Um, other than that, the ceiling, like I said, throughout the building, um, or at least this you know, this ceiling part, I'll get all that insulated, and it should help uh, with the um, temperature being uh, regulated. And I'm gonna, I have um, thermometers. I got one of them right there. If you see, it is about 40 degrees in here now. It was in the 30s. Looking to see if I can see my breath. I can. <coughs> That's how I gauge about how cold it is. Um, but uh, it's it's better. I can tell it's a little bit better in here. Um, and this, if just in case you want to know, this is R13 um, insulation. So it's used for exterior walls and floors and basements and things like that. Um, but of course we all know that heat goes up and that's how it, esca it escapes. So I'm going to have to get some insulation, some more insulation. I need to find out what the square footage of the ceiling is um, so I can buy enough insulation for that. And uh, I'll be good to go from there once I can actually, you know, i got to get up the money and then um, insulate that. Now I've been thinking about doing a Kickstarter program for a while or Kickstarter project, as they call it. Um, and so I was talking to uh, a guy that I've met. Uh, I met on Twitter, actually, and he sent me um, Gary Vaynerchuk's Jab, 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 Right Hook, his new book there. And I was talking to him about um, Kickstarter product projects, because in one of his podcast episodes that he does on iCloud, um, that is called um, The Startup Riff. If you want to look for that, his name is Matthew Galizzi, or Galizzi, G-A-L-L-I-Z-Z-I, -Z -Z -I. Um, and he also does it with um, Freeman Lafleur. They're the two, two good friends, that do that podcast there. But I was talking to them, or talking to, to Matthew about um, bootstrapping and lenders and getting investors and things like that for businesses, and they said he's basically had an experience with um, bootstrapping, you know, putting everything together yourself, paying for everything yourself, and so he knows that bit, and he's, he doesn't really care for the idea of getting lenders and investors and, you know, having other people, you know, be, um, I guess, on, I don't know, more pressure and things from them, uh, but then I asked him uh, what he thought about crowdfunding, you know, like Kickstarter, so um, he seems to like the idea of uh, crowdfunding, and said that he was going to uh, to address that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have going on. Um, so I got to get up in the morning. I want to have uh, my son as you know, he's nine months old, and then I'll have my nephew who is oh I don't know like uh, fifteen months old, something like that, and he's running around everywhere and chewing on stuff and picking up crayons and things like that. So um, they're gonna keep me busy between the two of them and getting feeding times and. 
you know, nap times and all that sort of good stuff, keeping him from eating things. And my son's starting to crawl around and, you know, grab everything he can and stick into his mouth. Um, what else? I've been listening to a lot of Entre Entrepreneur on Fire um, with, um, you know, John Lee Dumas. Uh, I, I listened to a and watched a webinar that he had yesterday now, technically, at uh, from 3 to about 5 o'clock, um, kind of about Podcasters Paradise. And that was really good and really informative, and I'd really like to be a part of Podcasters Paradise. Um, however, of course, I don't have the money for that. It's a lifetime membership. Um, when you do, um, you know, pay for it. And it's what is it, like five hundred some dollars, almost six hundred dollars or so. Um, you can sp split that up into as many as seven payments. So, you know, that'd be like ninety-seven dollars a month or so. But you know, that that's another almost hundred bucks. A month on top of everything else that I have going on, um, so but I I do want to get a podcast going for uh, for my business and uh, get that kind of exposure and be able to uh, to give some free content out like that as well as doing uh, blog posts on my website and free content that way, um, good information education about different disease processes. The only thing I can't do is make it individualized that way, um, and that's where. My services actually come in talking to individuals and finding out a little bit about their medical history and kind of what they what they do or what they've done for work and because a lot of things really play into that. So I'm not going to get into all that here because this video is going on almost seven minutes. Um, but I'm going to let you go for now. Um, I've gotten some things accomplished and we will see uh, what happens tomorrow. I will um, or today, I guess later today. Um, but I'm. I'll make another vlog today, and I'll probably go running tomorrow. I ran four miles today, or yesterday. I can't remember if I told you that or not. But I did run, um, and I'll probably run today or tomorrow. It depends if I follow that um, marathon plan or not. All right, so I'll talk to you all later. I'll talk, well, you all, yeah. I'll talk to you later. Uh, later today. Awkward silence.